What makes Green Lake so green? The story begins about 10,000 years ago, when glaciers and woolly mammoths roamed upstate New York. The story requires big words, photovoltaic, calcium carbonate, miromictic. Today, the two lakes in Manlius, New York, glow a rare and magnificent green color, and they are filled with prehistoric plant life that has attracted researchers for decades. This is how it happened. At the end of the last ice age, giant glaciers covered this part of upstate New York. The glaciers are starting to retreat to the north, and as they go, they're melting. So there's an awful lot of water, and it all needs to go someplace. As the glaciers retreated to the north, they picked up pebbles, silt, and boulders the size of houses. The glaciers melted and formed giant waterfalls. All that grit turned the waterfalls into liquid sandpaper. They hammered the limestone rock into deep plunge pools. Today, you look around, you don't see any other traces of that giant waterfall. Just these lakes are left behind. Round Lake was formed first. Then a second waterfall carved out Green Lake. The lakes are deep. but They have small surface areas compared to other lakes in upstate New York. On other lakes, the wind blows hard enough to churn the water. Very steep sides and deep plunge pools protect Green Lakes from the wind so the top and bottom layers of water don't mix. There's a name for this rare phenomenon. It's called miromictic. And there's only, I don't know, maybe 11 in the country, but only about 30 worldwide. So that's a pretty rare type of lake. So why does this make the lake so green? When lakes churn, the water stirs up tiny plants and other things that fall into the lake. Those nutrients reflect brown and red colors to the naked eye. In Green Lake, those nutrients fall to the bottom. The sunlight can penetrate deep into the water, and green and blue colors are reflected back. There is one more interesting bit of science happening in Green Lakes. The top layer has oxygen, but the bottom layer does not, and so it can't support plant life. There is a sheet of bacteria in the middle that is actually alive. The bacteria uses a photovoltaic process, and as a result, discharges tiny particles of calcium carbonate. They brought up a water sample and they opened it up and it, the water was purple and it smelled like rotten eggs. It's a sulfur bacteria. Eventually, all those particles form reefs. The reefs in Green Lake have been forming for thousands of years and are extremely fragile. From above, they look like bumpy shelves covered in moss and algae, but underwater, Curtains of plants grow towards the bottom. Researchers come from all over to study the lakes that don't mix in these unusual freshwater reefs that mimic prehistoric life. 